Uh, my name is Dr. Yunus Atanko. I am the chief spokesperson of the Labour Party Presidential Campaign Council. This text statement become very urgent and expedient. Um, the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, with greatest impunity have refused, neglected and failed to obey the order of the Presidential Election Petition Tribunal sitting in Abuja, who made on the 3rd of March 2023, directing it to grant the Labour Party and its presidential candidate, His Excellency Peter Gregory Obi, leave to ap apply and receive from INEC certified through copies of the material used in the presidential election held on the 25th of February 2023. It will be recalled that the aforesaid order of the Presidential Election Petition Tribunal was duly served on INEC on the 3rd of March 2023, despite the fact that they were, present, they were present and represented at the tribunal when the order was made. Not minding the service of this said order on INEC, and a reminder letter dated on the 6th day of March 2023, and deliver same date at the INEC headquarters at Abuja, the electoral umpire has continued to ignore or disobey the valid order of such magnitude till now. It should be noted that in a democracy like ours, rule of law must triumph, and not only in our legal system, but also in our body polity as a whole. Parties to a litiga litigation, like in the instant case, must accept and obey every order of the court in good faith. And no party should be seen to employ self-help to disrespect or disparage the order of the court, which of, is of not, if not check and curtail, could possibly undermine our democracy, rule of law, and constitutionalism. The action of INEC under reference also constitutes for all intent and purpose an act of judicial insubordination and willf willful refusal to comply to the order of court. As we speak, INEC has chosen to obey the order of court given to it to reconfigure the beaver's machine, which they are doing right now and ignoring the order granted to us to inspect the electoral material. We therefore call on the general public to note the level of lawlessness and bizarre disobedience to lawful order of a court by an important statutory agency such as INEC, and which is a well-calculated attempt to undermine and frustrate the present the, the presentation of the petition by the Labour Party and its presidential candidates and before the tribunal in good time. We therefore want to say that we will not fail in our duty and responsibility given to us as mandated by the Nigerian people to ask our supporters to march down to INEC offices nationwide in a non-violent protest which is allowed by law. This is to curtail the flagrant disobedience to court order by INEC and any other institution who may wish to do so now or in the nearest future. Thank you very much for listening. God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. We will entertain questions. And when INEC actually went to court to challenge our position or ask for an the order of the court to allow them to reconfigure the beaver's machine. The same request was made at that time. And you remember the judge said that the order has already been given. And so a repeat of that request will be abuse of the court order. In a very democratic society, once an order is being given by a competent jurisdiction of court, it is expected that until that particular order has been respected before, an, 
before they could even listen to INEC. So in other countries, they wouldn't have even listened to INEC at all in the first place. They would have, first of all, ensured that they carry out the first order given to them before they make another request for another order. That is actually what is supposed to have been obtainable. But unfortunately, in our position, while an order was given and flagrantly disabused and refused to be adhered to, the court still gave them another grant of order on their own request. That, of course, gave them the feeling that they can easily ignore the order of the court. As we speak, INEC has already started configuring the new Bibivas machine for the 18th, of election, the 18th uh, March of election, which is, of course, contradictory. They, can't, they cannot pick and choose which order they are going to take. Because what it simply means is that INEC is take, picking and choose what it on. As we speak, INEC should have been, leadership of INEC should have been arrested and been jailed for disobeying the court order. 